Now, before I came to the Top of the Pop studio today, I was listening to an album by our debut group, Juicy Lucy, and found items by Bo Diddley and Chuck Berry. Now, Chris, Chris Mercer, I found this a bit surprising material for a progressive band. Why do you use it? Uh, because we enjoy doing it. It's, it, it's, it's good material. It's, it's nice to do. It's enjoyable. When you say it's good, it's, it's pretty sort of basic, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think if you'd, uh, one's whole repertoire consisted of a early rock, it'd be a little boring. Yeah. You know, if, um, if you'd slip one or two in it, it's, it's a nice feeling. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to suggest that you're attempting to, in any way, sound um, like the sound of, yeah. what, 10, 15 years ago. Where, where are you at musically, would you say? Uh, it's, a little, it's always a little difficult to explain, explain that. But there's so many different influences in the band with the, the brass and the steel guitar. Yeah. We're basically playing a very simple, direct sort of music in the almost, I suppose, in a Creedence Clearwater vein. But yeah. it's really our own thing. But it, it's simple and direct. And, but for yeah. uh, the live performance, you, do you do the diddly composition? Yeah, yeah. You do that? Yes, we do. Okay, well, what's it called? Um, Who do you love? Right. Could we hear it now? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Somebody scream, you should have heard just what I see. Tell me who do you love? 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 Yeah! Right now, new release time.